Well, today we're going to use a completely different method than the previous one. We're going to be able to recover our device since this device is locked. As you can see here in the lower left corner, it has what looks like a little padlock. So, how are we going to be able to recover our device? Well, let's watch the video tutorial step by step until the end to be able to recover it. What are we going to do? Well, first of all, before explaining the process, what we're going to do is connect to a Wi-Fi network. That would be the first thing to explain to you that our device has a screen lock and also a Gmail account. Since we have forgotten it, uh, we will be able to recover it. It has this screen lock, we will click where it says, forget. We will click where it says forget. Uh, what are we going to do, uh? Well, we are going to use what is totally a tool. A totally updated tool, uh. We are also going to explain to you where you are going to be able to download it. Since this tool is totally, uh, free, you will not need to pay anything. It will be totally free, uh, what are we going to do? Well, before executing the tool that we are going to use, we always recommend that you do exactly as we are going to explain to you. Because these tools are always, uh, detected by the antivirus as a virus. And how are we going to do it? Well, we are going to do the following, as we had said. The first thing we have to do is what we do is go to our antivirus. Let's go to our antivirus and we'll select this option first. We'll select where it says virus and threat protection here we'll select. The option that says manage settings here we're going to deactivate the first option. We'll say yes, we say yes. Ready, that being said, what are we going to do now? Well, let's go to our PC. Let's go to our PC here we're going to write this option that says Davisel. Look closely at that one like this the one marked in blue write it as is. And this Android TV apps from Ibisel will appear you're going to click on it. Then it will take you to this section. Let's say that suddenly here if this one doesn't appear, this one doesn't appear here you're going to click. Where it says see more here you'll be able to find more EHYY you're going to select. The option that says apps now that's the option you're going to select. Ibisel apps is the one we're going to select we select it here. It would take us to this section now here we have several methods we have. Many methods let's go down. Here we're going to find the tool, as you can see we download it. After we have completely downloaded the tool we will be able to run it. We are going to install first. Well we are going to run it, this is the tool. We are going to run it as administrator, we are going to tell it yes. We run as administrator. We are going to click here on install, we click on next. Next and if we tell it to create. What is an icon on the desktop and that it runs automatically? We are going to wait a few seconds until it does the installation and gives us what is a shortcut to the application and the application will run, it will run by itself, we are going to wait. We click here on finish, here we can see that this tool was created for us. Now we are going to wait for it to open. This is going to open by itself, here it opened. The application opened, we are going to tell it no, here that it has a new update. Well for now we are not going to listen to it. We are going to tell it here where it says login, we are going to click here where it says 
Log in. Now when we log in the application is going to open. Here we have several options, we have the MediaTek processor here, Qualcomm. We have other brands like Asus, Huawei, Infinity, Nokia, Samsung, various models, but today we are going to use this MediaTek option. We are going to use the option that says here, EH service and we are going to give it the option that says Recess RP. We are going to click on it, we are going to leave it running. What are we going to do now? Well, what we have to do is turn off our device. We are going to turn it off completely, turn it off. After it is already turned off we are going to count 5 seconds. Count 5 seconds, here we are not going to press anything, we are not going to select anything. We are just going to insert the USB cable and let the program do the rest. We connect it here, the program will recognize it. We are going to let it do its entire process now. Now we are going to wait here for our device EH when it is successful it will say FRP. Reset Su said now we are going to wait for it to turn on by itself, we are not going to do anything, we are. Just going to wait for our device to turn on, turn on and show charging. Here it says that, we are going to wait for it to show the charging logo. Ready, now we are going to disconnect it. Now we are going to press the power button to turn on our device. We are going to turn it on. Well, we are going to turn it on and we are going to wait for our phone to turn on. Here it is starting, now yes, since it starts here. As you can see here we are going to be able to find this accessibility option. As you saw from the beginning. In the video that accessibility did not appear, but now it is enabled. Let's click here on next, today I start, let's click here. We're going to configure what how we make the configuration faster and what. What do we have to do, because our phone gets stuck. It gets stuck, we have some errors. What do we do, let's click here this continue yes. Network now what do we have to do, let's remove the sim card from our phone. Remove the sim card, click here on skip, click on skip. Click here where it says do not copy, click on more, click on accept. Click on skip, here we are going to configure it. That's why we always recommend watching the video tutorial step by step until the end so that you can correct the errors. We correct the errors, we click on finish and how do we correct these errors? Well. What we're going to do is go to settings, we go to about phone, we go to about phone. Here we're going to select the reset option. This is so that when our device is reset, it will be error free. So that we won't have any errors because if we leave it like that, our device will say that the application has stopped. It continues to fail, so in this way we will be able to correct these errors.